Hey, I'm heading into 26 now. So each of the motel rooms has the parking spot that um, they just park right in front of their room and walk in. That is the main driveway. Um, that large building in the triangle there at the tip with a big tree beside it, that is the barn and beside that is where the um, dumpster is. Anybody, they, um, I do write it on the map. If people wanna dump their trash there, we appreciate it. Um, there's the playground, as you can see. We got a new motel deck this year and we got um, also new uh, chair sets and table sets and stuff. Okay, so let's go into 26. This one is unique. It is um, three full beds and one of those beds is in a bedroom. You can see the door there. I actually didn't turn on the light, but the lighting looks good to me. So this one is the another one that is not a kitchenette. My son was mowing out there and you could hear it, but once you come in here and close the door, you can't hear it, so that's nice. We also did the bath fitter deal here. So again, when we're um, closed this next season, this will probably, I think this room is our project for this next season. Um, we don't need to redo the bathtub and uh, walls, but we do want to redo the floor. And so this is the only unit that has carpet left. We had torn out carpet in all the units, so nine out of 10 um, units. We had torn carpet out. And so this one, the <laughs> this one is last because the carpet isn't bad. <laughs> I don't like carpet anyway, but you know, things go down the list of importance, I guess. And um, so this will be that same floor I just showed in 27, and which is in all of the motel rooms, um, we'll have that vinyl plank waterproof flooring, which is um, come to be very helpful, especially when, oh, somebody checks out and for some reason they just uh, leave the shower on. And in the past we had this little step over about three inches high on a single walk-in shower in the motel and the water would come out onto the floor which is why floors don't look that great sometimes um <laughs> why we've replaced them <laughs> but the vinyl plank is waterproof so that kind of helps us so this again is not a kitchenette it is um, got a nice size refrigerator because this room technically can sleep six in three beds. And so it has the um, microwave, refrigerator, freezer, coffee maker. We provide pot coffee. Um, and then there's a toaster up there. No place or place plateware, no cookware. But looky what's out back. Um, lots of chairs and tables for one thing, but also a barbecue grill. Um, at the cottages, there's a barbecue grill. It is charcoal. Out here in the back, we have a two-sided, both charcoal and gas. So there's gas burner out there. The other day, um, someone came up and asked if they could cook lobster, and I said, sure. I just prefer that they would um, cook it outside or have it steamed where they pick it up and then eat it outside. And the reason being, um, thank you to everyone who's willing to do that, is the people who have severe allergies. And um, we have come to find out that when lobster's cooked in the unit, it um, gets in the curtains and, hi Pam, I hope you're having a great day. And it gets in the bedding and it gets in the carpet and it gets in everything. I guess the air conditioning filters, et cetera, et cetera. So we just ask that people, if they're going to bring lobster, go ahead and have it steamed where you buy it and bring it in that fancy bag that keeps it hot and keeps that butter melted and have at it outdoors or ask us for a lobster pot like this recent guest did and go ahead and cook it on the grill out there and enjoy it on the back deck. That would be lovely. <laughs>
Okay, so so again, this is a private bedroom in the motel room. It does have a full bed. Hey, Pam, Polly made the bed. <laughs> she did a good job. She always talks about how she learned things and practiced things um, with her sister. So again, all three full beds. Sometimes I've had guests um, come and I don't know, the last person, the maid, whatever, has closed that door to that private room and I will have a guest come straight up to the office and tell me that they rented a room with three beds and um, they do not have three beds, they only have two. So I just walk down from the office and open that door and show them the other bed and we're all good. Okay, so I hope everybody's having a really glorious, amazing day. I can't look at the beautiful colors out there. Ah, it's so amazing out. It's just what we've been waiting all winter for, right? Again, there's the view out back. Spring colors are everywhere. Just so, so, so beautiful. And my friend Lisa, my um, high school um, best buddy and um, business partner that um, isn't my business partner now, she said, you, you brought nature inside. So yeah, I mean, oh, something amazing this year. I think I've mentioned it on a couple of videos, but um, I'll just go ahead and highlight it here just a little bit. We bought a membership for our guests at the Y this year. And so if there's a rainy day, no, we don't have a pool and um, we don't have a pool and we don't have a pool. <laughs> but the Y has a pool. And if our guests go and um, tell their name and room number and everything, they can actually go use the Y pool because we have become members. So we do have the playground. We do have the pond. Um, folks can catch and release fish at the pond. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Yep, right behind that cottage right there with the car. Way in the distance is the paddle boat. And um, there are life vests in our shed behind the office and guests can use the paddle boat and they enjoy doing that. Okay, well, I hope you guys have an absolutely amazing day. Happy Acadia. <laughs>